In this video, I want to discuss uh, how the simple interest formula works and illustrate the formula with an example. Okay, so let's uh, suppose that uh, I want to start a little business or buy a, a PC or something like this. So I go to the bank and ask them to give me $1,000. Okay, so here they give me this money. Okay, now the uh, deal is, is that uh, I think I'm going to need this money for a year. So, after one year, the deal is that, of course, I've got to pay them back the $1,000. But because they're in business and they want money and, and I'm using their money, I have to give them a little extra. So, suppose uh, we just say I'm going to agree to pay them another $80 here. Uh, for the, their troubles. Now, uh, let's uh, talk about uh, 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 some terminology here. So, the original amount of money I borrowed is called the principal. And it's usually denoted by P. And so, I have to pay them back the principal P. Uh, but I also, there's this extra bit of money. And this is what's called the interest. Okay, and it's usually denoted by I. And so I have to pay them back the principal plus the interest. Now, uh, these uh, things added together uh, are usually called the future value designated by FB for uh, this type of uh, situation, the loan, and so forth. Now, uh, the bank does not usually um, quote fixed amounts of money because what if I buy, I borrow two thousand dollars or a uh, million dollars? They're not going to charge me just eighty dollars. They're going to charge me some uh, different amount of money. And so the amount of money that uh, the way the uh, this interest is usually determined is based on what's called an interest rate. And so basically that's just going to be the percent of profit that they make off of my money here uh, over a year. So interest rates are usually annually. So how would we compute this in this case? Well, this is going to be the $80 that I paid them. That's what they gained from the process uh, divided by the $1,000. And so the, uh, let's simplify this. I can cancel some zeros and this comes out to be 0.08. And this is usually written is 8%. So what the bank would probably say up front is that, okay, I'll loan you this $1,000 for a year, but you're going to have to pay me 8% uh, as my, my interest. Now, uh, let's look at another uh, uh, aspect of this. Uh, suppose and see how this interest is going to vary upon just not the rate and the amount, but also how much long I keep it. Supposing that uh, I take this $1,000, but I don't need it for the full year, I'm going to pay him back in one half year, six months. Should have said it that way. Uh, so what do I have to pay them back? Well, I'm going to have to pay them back $1,000 plus, well, what else? Well, let's take a look at this. Um, the For one year... I had to pay them $80. Okay, but so it would make sort of sense that for just a half a year, I'd pay them half of that. It should be proportional. So I'd pay them back $40. So I'll have to add on the 40 here, and the future value then becomes $1,040 is what I would owe them uh, when I finally pay them off in six months. All right, so. Uh, let's see if we can make this into a uh, formula, okay, because, well, we see there's a formula for the future value. That's just principal plus interest. But now let's go and look at uh, uh, how we calculate the interest here. So if I let I be the interest here, well, what we saw is that the interest is certainly is going to have to be proportional to what this interest rate is here. And notice that for the 80 here, 
uh, this 80 is just going to be this interest rate R times the uh, the principal here this is the interest rate R and this down here is the uh, the principal so uh, for one year here I just got P times R I'll write it in the usual way now what happens when we went to a half a year so see uh, when we got to uh, eighty dollars well this was 0 0.08 times uh, well, let's see 0 0.08 times a thousand okay that was our eighty dollars now how did I get this forty dollars well it the amount of interest is also going to be proportional to the length of time here so I just took this value here my eighty dollars times the one half Okay, so I can, if I call the length of time t in terms of years, I should probably designate something like this. Uh, this is the, of course, the amount borrowed. This is the annual rate. And this is the number of years involved, or fraction of, uh, of a year. In other words, uh, we uh, looked at uh, this and used it as one half. So uh, this formula then would be what we would, could use to have found this, the interest part of this. Now, I also might uh, mention that uh, the role of me in the bank can change. See, the way it's set up here, I borrowed $1,000 from the bank, and then we had to pay it back. But suppose we have a savings account and in which case here's me that is going to have the thousand dollars and I give the thousand dollars to the bank all right and then the bank will then have to pay me something back it puts interest into my account so uh, these models can work both ways and the formula uh, for simple uh, interest would work uh, for either way Okay, so uh, in the next video, what I will do is uh, we'll give uh, another uh, application of this and then uh, look at uh, some other aspects of this formula.